Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Golf Vlogs. We promised you we're gonna upload a new video every week, and that is our goal. So there may be crap videos, there may be very good videos, but we're gonna upload a video every week. So, tonight, what we have for you, we are making homemade taco salad. Who doesn't like taco salad? We thought about doing tacos, but really, nobody really likes tacos. It's just like all crumbled up on the plate. Beautiful taco salad. So that's what we're doing today. So today, what we have for you, I got some nice cutting shears here. We're gonna cut off the packaging here. Put over to our pan. Uh, we are gonna put our oven on large burner, five and a half. We're gonna squeeze out all of this amazing, beautiful ground beef. Look at that. So nice. So nice. All right. Now my, my pan's not hot. I have a cold pan. Uh, I could have probably heated it up, you know, so when you put it in here, it sears, but I didn't do that today. So we're gonna break up this beautiful ground beef. So we got our beautiful ground beef here. It's already browning up. We're gonna put about three fourths cup of water in here. We're gonna put in our taco seasoning, salt and pepper, and that's it. That's it. I mean, guys, look, we're making taco salad a lot of ingredients. I have it all laid out on the counter. We have salsa, we have cheese, we have green onions, we have lettuce. Every taco salad has to have classic Catalina dressing. Growing up in my family, we always had this in our taco salads. It's amazing. If you like hot sauce, you gotta have your Tabasco. You gotta have your Valentina. You gotta have your jalapenos. So this is a spicy dish, it is. This right here, there's not much of it, but Ortega taco sauce. You gotta have that. Oh my gosh, it makes for a great taco salad. Ranch dressing, uh, Hidden Valley is probably the best you can get. We have this sweet and heat uh, hot sauce, which is gonna be really good. Cilantro, cilantro, or coriander, as they may say in different countries. You've gotta have cilantro because it's Mexican, it's amazing, it's awesome. You gotta have cilantro. Uh, we have onion, we have two onions here. I probably won't chop up both of them, uh, maybe one of them. We have fresh garlic. And then of course, kind of weird, but we have taco sauce from Taco Bell, okay? We're gonna use all these ingredients in our taco salad. Oh, chips, it doesn't matter what kind of chips. These are Tocitos. They were already crumpled up, and so we decided to do taco salad because of that. So we have tacos up in the cabinet. We could have done tacos. All your ingredients fall out. People love taco salads. They trump them up anyway. Taco salads are better. These chips are already, we bought them crushed up already. We didn't know they were crushed up, but when we got home, we saw they were crushed up. So we're gonna crush up these chips, ground beef on top, lettuce, tomato. Look at this, avocados. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be so good. While the ground beef is browning up, we're gonna go ahead and chop some onion. There is nothing I like better than raw onion. Oh my God, so good. People, some people hate onion, but I love onions. I love raw onions. But we're gonna chop this up. We're just gonna dice up some onions, okay? Now, there's a lot of fancy ways to chop. You know, I'm, I'm just doing it the way that I like to do it. It's just, you know, I'm gonna just chop it up. We're gonna dice it up. Okay? Bring it in. And chop. Nothing I like better than diced onions. We're gonna take all these diced onions and we're gonna put them into the ground beef that we have over here cooking. It's almost all browned up, looking very nice. Oh my gosh, ground beef and onions. There's nothing better. It's so good. Let's start cooking. Turn the heat down just a little bit because it's cooking very quickly. We're gonna put about three fourths cups of water into this and a whole packet of taco seasoning for our taco salad. I got about three fourths cups of water. I'm gonna put it into this ground beef, okay? We have taco seasoning from Kroger. 
All right. Oh my gosh. This says right here, tacos. Taco salad. All right, the heat's a little bit low right now, but we're, we're, we turned it back up. It's gonna start sizzling here in a little bit. We're gonna add some salt. And some pepper. We're gonna stir it up. The meat is browned to perfection. The onions are looking amazing. So I want the onions to continue to cook. So we're gonna put the oven on low and just let it simmer. And then we're gonna drain our meat because we're all gonna have all these juices in our taco salad. So we're gonna drain all this meat. All right, so we have this absolutely beautiful romaine lettuce. Uh, and excuse my thumb tag, or I cut myself, so I had to put a band-aid on, that I don't bleed all over the food. But we've already went ahead and we washed this and we rinsed it. Uh, you always wanna make sure that you wash your produce. Uh, so what I like to do, Chop down the center like that. Chop down the center like that. Take it. I like to roll it up and then chop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautifully chopped lettuce. Look at this. That's how you want to do it. Put it into our bowl. All right, so we have our lettuce chopped. We're gonna chop up some fresh avocados, or agates, as I say in Spanish. Uh, we have some nice green onion that we're gonna chop up, uh, some lemon to squeeze over our taco salad, and we are done. Oh, and cilantro. Something you've gotta have in your dish, especially for making taco salad or any kind of Mexican dish, is cilantro. Uh, you just wanna rough chop it, you don't want to like chop it too much. You don't want to dice it up. You just want to chop it up. Just a very nice rough chop. And enjoy this over your taco salad. It's going to be so good. We're going to take our avocado. And we're going to cut it. We're going to put the knife down to hit the, the, uh, the seed. They're going to go all the way around. Okay. Now I have a big knife. So we're going to go all the way around. We're going to twist. Like this, we're gonna take the avocado, boom, pull off the seed, throw it in the trash. All right, we have a beautiful avocado chopped up on the plate. You know, and it's gonna happen. Sometimes you're gonna get a bad avocado that uh, you can tell is definitely rotten, uh, but you, you don't know. You chopped it open, it looks really good. Uh, we, look at this, this right here is beautiful. You've got to have fresh chopped avocado on your taco salad it's going to take it to a whole nother level it's going to be absolutely amazing look at this beautiful all righty guys so we went ahead and drained our meat because you don't want all that juice and water and grease into your taco salad now so i absolutely love garlic a lot of people probably don't do this in their taco salad but i love garlic so much so i'm gonna take a big old spoonful of garlic and put it into my meat with my onions and my ground beef. We're gonna cook this off. I turn the heat back up. We're gonna cook this garlic into our meat and it's gonna make our taco salad so much better. All right guys, so everything's come together. Uh, this is a very simple dish. Uh, make it how you wanna make it. So we're about to plate up our plate and it's gonna be so good. Here we go. So first, chips. We're gonna take chips. A little bit of chips on the plate. Okay. This is our ground beef with our sauteed onions, garlic, taco seasoning, salt, and pepper. We're gonna take our beautiful lettuce on top of the taco meat. Beautiful lettuce, romaine lettuce chopped up. We're gonna do some fresh tomatoes. Cilantro, which you have to have because it just makes the dish amazing. We're gonna do some fresh avocado. We're gonna do some fresh shredded cheddar cheese. Fresh sliced green onion. Now, the ingredients that you put on top of this is up to you. So we're gonna take some Hidden Valley Ranch. 
Anytime that you have a taco salad, you've got to have classic Catalina. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in to our amazing taco salad night. Here is the final product. Now, time for the taste test. Oh my God, you have got to make this at your house. Make it at home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. We promised you to post a video every week. We're gonna do it. It could be a great video, it could be a bad video. But if you like what we're doing and you like our content, please like, subscribe, comment about your opinions, what you think about our videos, and uh, hit the little ding dong bell. That way, every time we post a new video, you'll get notified. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. We are Golf Vlogs.